All cameras and eyes on the loaded field at the home of the Tigers. Rar, that's kind of like the sound they make. We start out with the discus and Wabonzi Valley's Owen Saldana. Saldana launches one into orbit, a throw of 182 feet 7 inches. Good for first place in a stadium record, he'd also win the shot put. Two mile run with Nequa Valley's Mark Derrick owning the top seed coming into the race. Early on it's Derrick and Plainfield North's Andrew Sandoval battling for position while Cat Taylor Soltis in fourth place. At the finish, Derrick takes first with a 920.41, Sandoval finishes second. How about the day Sheldon McGee and Plainfield South had 4x100, McGee anchoring and cruising to victory. Plainfield South first with the 41.7, Nico and Jacob Bender fourth, they qualify downstate with 42.6. Speaking of Bender, he would take on McGee again, this time in the 400, Naperville North San Antonio Owens also looking to make a statement, but it's McGee beating out Bender in a close race, 48.08, Bender second, Owens third, they'll all go downstate. Meanwhile, it's McGee capping things off in the 4x400 relay. McGee holds off the number one half miler in the state, Joe McGacy and Manuka to win. Nequa Valley and Bender would qualify in third with a 321.8. Plainfield South with a crazy time of 316.45, the number one time in the state, top 20 in the nation. Cougars win the sectional with 102 points, West Aurora second, Manuka third. We wanted to win that state trophy, I mean, it's gonna be great. I mean, we got a chance, so just gotta keep up the hard work and uh, finish out strong. I'm really pumped. I just I feel like if I get a chance to run a really a re elite race with all those great runners that I could really run a really fast time, so that's what I'm looking forward to.